Hello YouTube, it is Manipulation Tutor here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the liquify effect. Uh, a lot of you, or not the, well, I guess it would be oil painting, not liquify. Uh, I'm going to be making this effect, not with this exact picture. Um, a lot of you have tried by just pressing the oil paint and it doesn't look like an oil painting. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a picture. We want a picture where you have wavy lines in the hair. Just something to give it more texture so that it actually looks like an oil painting. Not like how this, the stomach and the legs, doesn't really look like an oil painting. Only the part that does is the eyes and the hair. So we want a picture somewhat like this that you can actually have a definition when you have the oil painting. So this is a very short and easy tutorial. What we are going to do is go to the oil paint. Now that is what it's going to look like when you first click on the oil paint. Now I'm sorry but that does not look like an oil paint. So what we are going to do is we, the stylation is what's going to add some texture after, well it's going to add more of your amount of oil paint after we get those black lines away. The cleanliness we're going to bring up to about 6.65, 6, about 6.5. This we're going to bring down to about 5. A little under 5 is fine. The scale is not going to do anything. The bristle detail is not going to do anything. The angular direction is not going to do anything. And then the shine we want at zero. And that's going to take away those black lines. Now as you can see, the angular, as much as I move it, doesn't make a difference. The bristle doesn't make a difference. It made a difference when we had the black lines, but now it doesn't. So now you can see the eye is a little messed up up here. I'm going to fix that. We want to press OK. And then we're going to come into Filter, Liquify. You want to get a brush size about the size of the eyeball. And I am going to zoom in so that you guys can see this a little easier. We want to get this Forward Warp tool. And we're just going to... Uh, let's move the eye just a little bit. Actually, let's get... There we go. And we're just going to fix it up just a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get the clone stamp tool. Press Alt to get your selection. I'm just going to kind of fix the eyeball up a little bit because I don't like it how it is right now. And we're just going to kind of fill it in. We want it to blend. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the blur tool. And I'm just going to blur that in so that the colors blend. And it still has that liquefying oily effect. And I think I like that a lot better. So uh, you might get this uh, dodge tool and burn tool. See how this has white in it and whatnot, different colors. We're going to make our brush a lot smaller. And I'm just going to add some color, change my exposure up a little bit more. 
Um, change that. And there you go. That is the uh, finished liquify effect, and it looks a lot more real. Um, that is this tutorial. Uh, like my videos, comment, rate, and uh, subscribe to my channel.